the reason why people they want to take the land away from other people is greediness. There's no other answer. They are so damn greedy. They think when they make money, that's all. But life is not only about money. Life is about land. Life is about healthy and peaceful environment. My name is Nonle Butuma. I'm from Kolobeni, which is part of South Africa. I'm an activist, a human rights and environmental activist fighting for my land. This land, it was not been disturbed by so-called development. People are still living their own traditional way. And we live here for centuries. It's very rich, very fertile soil. That is why we can sustain ourselves, we feed ourselves. We are not dependent to anybody, any government. But now there is a risk that this kind of life is going to be changed. And that is why we fight. The open cast mine is very dusty and it consumes quite a lot of water. The grass is going to become dry. When they pollute our estuaries, you destroy the whole ocean because there will be no fishes. How are we going to survive? All our life will be turned upside down. We depend on nature to survive. Mining is a short term, the lifespan of the mining just 22 years. 22 years is nothing. After 22 years, how are you going to live? And once the mine is there, once your environment is being destroyed, it's irreversible. As it can go, go, Germany says in Dobana, Sasambesa epitol, Baukumbula ban, COT epitol, Ipaya. If we allow the mining to take place, that means there will be nothing that we're going to left for our children. And we want to make sure we're going to take a decision that is not going to affect the next generation. In my community, when we take a decision, we take decision as a collective. We're sharing everything. We know that whatever is going to happen is going to affect all of us. Fight against mining and your government you are putting your life in danger. There's many comrades, they were part of the struggle. They've been killed. The late chairperson of Amadeba Crisis Committee, which is the committee that we formed against this mining, has been assassinated in 2016. And I know there's a hit list. And on the hit list, and I was number one. I'm living under stress each and every day. I don't know when and how they're going to get me, but I'm not going to be shut up, no matter what. When you put the woman to lead, you are protected because we always put our children first than anything else. Why our government always put the profit first than the human lives, like there's no future, like there's no tomorrow. Mining is not only alternative. Ecotourism is the best 
agriculture is the best and those kind of two development can sustain for quite long time of, of life than 22 years. What I ask from the international people to give us support, to be in solidarity with us and spread the word. If the word exposes the enemy, the enemy will afraid to do stupid things and keep killing our people. We need to speak out and tell the world that we are here to make the better world for our next generation.